here's where we get to tactics. So let's say we're looking at an Instagram grid of nine. You're working nine for Instagram. So you want variety in your social media. So you might have some long form, which is telling a long story. So you don't have to tell the exact story of what happened at that rehearsal, which is why you can bank and use a photo two months later. Mm. You might tell a story, or you might just purely see that looks funny and reminds me of something that happened on The Simpsons. So you might just do that, a little quick thing of, you know, that's what you see, and it's just for fun. So it, it goes to 432, four are uh, adding value. So four posts will be telling a really a good story. It might be your journey, it might be an actor's story, it might be something that adds value to the reader, the person receiving it. So how does me telling my story add value to the reader? Because they find it interesting, you're entertaining them. Entertain, educate or inspire. Okay. So um, on the three posts you might educate, you might go behind the scenes about what um, a lighting tech does, you know, what, what's it like, um, you know, lighting a show or whatever it is. We, you know, throw these, the jargon around of bump in and all the rest of it. The average person doesn't know what the heck you're talking about. So not patronisingly, but, you know, playing with that and bringing them into the journey, letting them feel like they're in the theatre. And then two of those posts, so 20% of what you do, is actually saying, buy tickets. Your call to actions will change, yeah. but they're always there. So in that nine posts of Instagram, they know the show because you're constantly, you're not saying at the end of every post, buy tickets. You're talking about here at rehearsals four, this is what we've done today, whatever. So you've thrown in the name that's always going into their mind but they haven't been fatigued by constantly being asked for something. Yeah. But you're getting the message across anyway. Yeah, great.